I'm super excited. Welcome to the Nana Cheche Show. We celebrated 60 years of the Grammy oh, Awards. And, uh, yes, and it's in New York. It's in New York. Hey, you know hey. I mean? We've been touring New York. We've been touring. And, you know, I, I, I have way, a friend. That is beautiful. What that is beautiful? Yeah, it really is. Do you think we should get you one, Yo, I, one I, I made one. for next year? Yeah, one made next year. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight <laughs> up coming to America, uh, baby. Yeah, Attack! Well, <laughs> I'm so thankful that you've made time. You're yeah. such a busy, busy person, but I can see you're down to earth. Because yeah, yeah. for this to be arranged less than 24 hours, I remember texting you at like 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. And I said, he's not sleeping. Wow. I'm blessed. And so thank you so much, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't sleep, man. We sleep when it's time. When I took a break, though, okay. with the family, I just tell people, don't call me. Wow. If I'm taking the time uh, on a weekend when I'm off from Monday to Friday, uh, I go heavy. But on the weekend, I'm trying to have it. Unless I really have to work on the weekend. The weekends, and um, but besides that, I'm with families. And uh, basically only 15% you will catch me. Wow. Yeah. So. Shut down. Woohoo. Shut down. So I'm sitting down with the super, super Jerry Wonder. He's a super producer. Three times... Grammy Award winner. Um, he's worked with what countless, countless artists I can mention. Um, on top of my head, you've worked with the Foodies, yes, you've worked yes. with Mary J. Blige, yes. um, Justin Bieber, yes. Shakira, yes. Yeah, um, Beyonce, yeah, John, Ooh, Legend, else? John Legend, uh, Lupe Fiasco, wow, uh, uh, Tom Jones. Tom Mal Jones, Melissa Etheridge, Bono from YouTube, and I'm a guy like Egyptian, you know, Movado. Wow. I'm a guy like Sakodi. Well, Sakodi. 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 Yeah, I always say Sakodi. Sakodi. Yeah. When you and come to Ghana, we, we teach you. Yeah, yeah, please. I, you know, I love Ghana. You know, yeah, have you been? Yeah, I've been to Ghana. Okay. And I've been to. Um, a lot. I go a lot to Senegal. Okay. You know, that's why I speak. Of, you know, I got the French part. Okay. Come on, 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 come um, I, I saw from the video or you said that you start playing bass guitar at the age of 11. Was music in the family? Well, um, one, uh, there was a day that uh, my brother came home and my cousin, they like, with a guitar and my brother, like, trying to learn. And I'm, I'm like, can I learn too? I was so little. And I pick up the guitar. It was like, and I like it and everybody learning how to play the C note, the G note. It was good. And one kid went and said, Anyone gonna play the bass? It was like, bass? What is a bass? And that's when you know in the beginning, you don't really know what's what. You know, guitar, five string, bass, four string. We don't know. Then I find out I touched the bass. It felt so good. I was like, I wanna play that. Then one day, um, there was a church and the bass player didn't show up and they had the bass and I'm looking at the bass, the bass looking at me and my heart shaking and, and, I, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna play. Then I got up, like, I guess people were like, where do you think you're going? I pick up the bass, and thank God I know the song. I already practiced the song, whatever the three songs are playing. And I was, since then, I was like, I'm a bass player. And, you know, oh. especially I, there was a girl that had a crush on me, and, <laughs> and she called me by my name for the first time. I was like, I'm a bass player. Then, you know, that's how I started, and basically in Haiti, they called me a little bass. If you listen, Killing me softly is like, mm. you know, when Lauren say a little bass up in here, white club Jerry Wonder up in here, you know. So they called me little bass because the bass was always big and I was so awesome. little. Okay. And that's my main instrument. But I, you know, that's how, that's my startup, you know. 
when I get to interview people, I always ask them because I know it's passion. What you're doing, there's a passion behind it. But was this something that you really wanted to do apart from, you know, when you found basic guitar? No, I didn't want to do anything else because I I, I just felt good playing them. The, the, the basic guitar. I didn't know my first gig, I mean, I was getting like, you know, 10 bucks and I was like, oh, okay, that's good. I thought that's the most you could ever get. Mm. Till like one day I got 500 and I was like, oh my God, it's a lot. It's great. It's great. But I never thought you could, there's millions behind that after that. And then, you know, but music, you can't do it for money. You know, you got, you got to talk to you from the heart. Music's yeah. from the heart. Yeah, because and, yeah. I, when I walked in, they said, um, he is music and music is him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you yeah. elaborate on that? Um, I gotta tell you, when I play music, if I pick up a guitar right now or pick up a bass, and you, I don't have to tell you if I love it. You already have my God, he's in love. Oh, and we he's don't have one love. here. Do we have one uh, here? You know, man, you oh, know, I wish you could have a plate. Can you get one? Yeah, please get me one. one. I, I want, know, I want to have a feel you of know, it. You know what I'm saying? So, so my thing is that's what um, um, that's what is music. You gotta love it first. You gotta be. That, it's in your blood. It's like for me, it's water. I gotta drink water every day. I love water, so I love music. Wow. You know. So you a Jersey boy? When I grew up in North, uh, East Orange, in Newark, Irvington, West Orange, yeah, Jersey, yeah. Yeah. I love it, Irvington, man, yeah. I, I, I took the bus because I'm there, so I took the bus and we take the bus oh, to, to New York to do to do stuff. <laughs> I don't blame you. You know, yeah, it's it's uh, it's the key for me. New Jersey, like this. There's no other place like Jersey, but even now. I'm even in a few other places. I'm oh, yeah, I'm in the West Coast. I'm in I'm in Edina, you know, and, and yeah. I'm in North Carwell, and I'm in New York. So I'm moving. You so know? you're always moving. Yeah, yeah, that's exciting. So, how did you come into producing music for all these artists? Well, I I start up with um uh, of course with my cousin White Clef and oh he's your cousin Clef, yeah okay <laughs> that's my first cousin um Clef mom and my dad. Um, brothers and sisters, and my dad passed away. Actually, mom was here. Mom is here. Um, oh, she's still mom. alive? Yeah, yeah. How old is yeah. she now? Oh, my God. I'm not sharing the age. She <laughs> might kick me. No, she's old enough. Oh, I'll come back to find it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Off yeah. camera. Don't worry, off camera. <laughs> and, uh, but she's really, you know, uh, uh, my second mom that's really, really look out for me. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm doing the interview, but uh, at the same time, yes, the, fam then. the family calling. I just got to tell them my uh, family I'm doing an interview. Yeah. Okay, uh, my, my daughter. I'm doing a, I'm doing an interview. I'm, I'm doing an interview. <laughs> Hello. I'm going to call you back. Lo yeah. Okay, love you. Love you. <laughs> that's so cool. sorry about that. It's I, okay. I always pick up when my kids call. Oh, that's Whatever good. I'm doing, that's I always good. pick that's up. Good. That's that's good. Good. Oh my God, it's really enough tune. Off tune is going to have somebody tune in the back. Okay. Never bring a guitar without tuning. Come on, uh, man. Yeah. You're a musician. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. 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 So, um, um, so, um, and Clef mom and my dad, brothers and sisters, and, and we used to live in a, in a church in um, okay. South Orange, 1108 South Orange Avenue. We, it's a church still there, you know, it was a part of help build the church and everything. Actually, I was there this morning. Cause that's oh, you went to, yeah, we went uh, every, to su every Sunday, I go to, I go to church. Oh, wow. That's where I see my culture. That's how we see our aunties, our cousins, our nieces. And that's why the whole, it's a culture. It's not just go to church. Yeah. Sure. You know that's what I mean? Funny. And this is where we feel like that's where God put together for us to see our family. Everybody goes to church and always dressed nice. You yes. know, that's, that's cool. So we used to live in a church and my dad moved from Brooklyn to uh, East Orange, New Jersey. Bought a house and this time my, my brother Rennell mm -hmm. and, and Clef and we decided to build a studio. My dad was like, go ahead, build a studio. And we built, I think it was 1993, 94, 93, I think. We built a studio, but it was the place where everyone mm -hmm. just come in and chill for music. And we have the drug dealers, we got the church, we have the, the regular bit, everyone would, would just come and we create music. And that's when, you know, we start getting into that production and just say, okay, you could be a bass player, you could be a musician. Then there's being a producer. Then we start making beats and from the beats turn into song, from the song turn into hits. And, and that's how we started. That's how I started. That's awesome. So, say if you had all these people, some playing the beats and all that, how would you identify that 
you could be this and you could be that. Well, I was creating the beats. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm, I would just go, I love the SP 1200, the drum machine, and creating the, creating the music. I love that. You know, it's one of, one of my favorite things to do, you know, is creating, creating music. And I found out you could really put in the infrastructure of creating songs. Because it's not just make beats, you have mm -hmm. to really create, turn a beat to, you know, instrumental to songs. And I learned that, and I got to work with so many people. Once I did the, I was a part of the score, the album, and me and Wyclef, we was a really heavy um, team on producing and making some for other people. That's why we got called from Club Davis. Um, do me, uh, do my love, your love for Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. Or oh, do, we got to do, you say no, no, no for Destiny Child. Then do a Carlos Santana song and, you know, and then start doing the rest of the rest. And, you know, once you have a hit, everybody mm, call everybody you. And, and that's it. And that's how I started. I'm still in the business there today, and and a um, great thing. I'm really excited. I'm sitting in a ring for the Grammys. You know, yeah, I'm part, of the, yeah. I'm part of the Grammys now. You know, helping uh, the Grammys grow. You know what I mean? Yeah, and 60 letting, years. Yeah, 60 years, and make it look cool because you know you get. I'm cool. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's the vibe. Yes. Right. So before we go into your charitable. So uh, maybe you're gonna play a little tune. Oh my god. And then let me let me, let me see. Who tune it? I've had a feel right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Jerry, did you did you have money when you started? Because no, you know. no, no, we were broke. I was working at actually I was um uh for you to know, most of the people you see that made it from movies, everything. Everybody was a boss boy, a waiter, or working in a clothing store, or you know, dishwasher or working at Burger King, McDonald's and White Castle and whatever you think and even now do Uber now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so nobody have money till till you get a hit. I tell yeah. you and don't be stressed out, everybody you have your turn. If you're supposed to be yeah. you know, in a position, God give everybody a good position. You have to work hard for it though. But nobody could take it away from you. So don't get stressed. Keep doing the struggle, struggle. One hit, one song change your life. Forever. That is a good advice. That is a good advice. So I want us to talk about um, your project that is coming up, Sounds of Tomorrow. Well, Sounds of Tomorrow, it's um, a program that when you see how you're saying, did you have any money from <laughs> the beginning? Well, it's uh, something that we're helping young people to, um, you know, from music to film to dance to art to technology and how we go out in the communities and create this music, you know, this, uh, this uh, media platform, uh, music school, for, you know, really teach people and get them to places that they can in the lifetime they can, the office, the people they can, which teach them. And also my goal is how do I create an entrepreneur? You know, mm -hmm. how do I make, by the time you're 23, 21, 23, how do you be a, how um, make you be a more millionaires, you know? And in the sense that not having a million dollars in the bank, but be a part of a business, an entrepreneur that worth a bit, you know, a million dollars, and you know, there we go, you're part of a millionaire club, you know what I'm saying? And uh, and you could be one, and you could make a difference in community and help others, and mm -hmm. teach in integrity, and how, how you know, there's, there's people that have one song, or one thing they start, they can't finish it, you know? How do we we teach people how you go from one to 100 to, you know, to fin to the finish line, you know? And, and how do we help them? And that's what I'm about. Awesome. In the in the video that we saw as well, people were saying, why don't you open a music school? Yeah. Are you going to well, do that? Well, that's, that's the whole thing. That was, um, people was pushing me to say that, and all of a sudden, <laughs> last summer, this summer just passed, and it just came to me. I was like, okay. We got the school like you see the school. Mm, that's what we mm. know. So that's why we moving the cinema to all different different places. It's, it's, a, it's like a school, but you know, a part of it. That's, that's the mission. Awesome. You know, we live in a millennial world, as they call it. Yeah. Yeah, and YouTube world. That now everybody puts stuff on YouTube, and tomorrow they're instant hits. Are you for that? 
Well, you know what? The great thing about it, uh, there's a platform now, um, you know, um, for young for young artists, new artists to create a platform without a major label because they could do their own thing if they really put content because it's a content driven right now, you know. You have VR, AV. You have all the, you know all these things. People could create it. You you don't have to have a major deal to put music out. You just gotta create your fan base. Yeah. If you create a fan base, you you know the label gonna start calling to say, "Can I sign you?" You know, and someone like Justin Bieber, that was all yeah. numbers, and we could go to so many of them. Um, the, the what the internet doing, YouTube doing, and Instagram and Twitter and. Snapchat and so many format. Um, right now, it's a great thing for people to just go ahead and create a name for yourself be, beside going to a major label. Because even the major label don't want to sign you mm -hmm. uh, unless you have fan base. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, do I have to have fan base before I come to you? <laughs> um, for me, I like the talent and I help you build a fan base. Oh, but right. for me to take you to like to say let's take you to Sony to get the stuff and get you to Universal. Some of them they wanna they wanna see know it. see you what's your number, you know? And I could I could show you how to get your fan base. If you, you know, if that you wanna do that for real. <laughs> maybe, maybe off camera we do that. So sixty but, years of the Grammys and you have you've been uh you've won three Grammys. Yeah, how yeah. does that feel for you to be sitting on the board, the Grammy board? And also celebrating. You know what? It felt like it was a good, you know, I feel like being on a board is better than even one <laughs> when a Grammy. That's how I felt because I felt it so special. I was, um, you know, I'm start learning a lot about really what's the Grammys because even you win, I didn't know a lot of what great work Grammys been doing. And they actually been doing so many great stuff. I was on a phone on a call and I was like, oh my God, you guys been doing what? what what and it, it's such a great you know great great movement the grammys are really big and and they have a great heart and you know it's not just about getting the grammys you watch the show but mm -hmm. beside it the grammys is the whole 360 whatever days you say you know what i'm saying so yeah. think about it it's a it's a great movement and what they're doing in communities what they're doing you know for music in a global way, you yeah. know what I'm saying. So, I'm glad to be sitting and you know be a part of the board for the New York chapter. You know what I mean. So, I'm new on it, and and you and the way it is, you go like this, you go up, mm -hmm. and I can't wait. You know? Congratulations on that. And uh, before you go, I want you to share two challenges that you faced as being a top producer, and also two uh, celebrants that you have in your life apart from the family well well the, the the thing that i have like i i, I just feel like music could be better the, the if we, we we create the challenge i just don't like it. i hate when a song just come in and go and okay. but what happened is that they're not putting a lot of hard, hard work to this to the song anymore to the music so i'm really hurting by it and i think you know some some of the music is just like there's nothing on them like you know, and then people that just they that just have that one song, a major label just signing ten ten of them at the like a you know mm -hmm. ten of them because they don't know which one is going to work and and to me I feel the music is suffering of musicianship, so I wanna you know that's my struggle. Besides that, I'm happy every day you know, oh, good. and I'm happy to be to be a part of music you know, and we got platinum sound and. My God, is a French has platinum sound and go in different places. And to me, that's that's the goal. You know, that's the only challenge. I'll decide that. Um, I just love spending time with the family. And uh, how do you you work and do what you love and still spending more time with your family? And that's my goal. Awesome. Thank you so much. So, could you look in the camera and tell? A young or a coming up artist or talent who is looking at you and say, "Wow, I really want to be like him." Well, you know, um, I just want to tell the new talent: do music with your heart, with the integrity. Don't do music because the the next by somebody else music, you copy it. No, you know, if you want to do that, you can. But it's always good to come up with something that's you, 
your sound so you don't sound like a, a trillion people, you know? Just be you and come up with with, with, with stuff, man. And and I say always in a, in a more like attack! <laughs> Thank you so much, Jerry Wonder. Thank you for You're having welcome. me. You're and uh, okay, oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Very, very and nice. I look forward to see you in yes. LA. Yeah, come on, you know I'll be in. I'm, a, I'm, I go back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in New York, LA, and everything. Thank you so All much. Right? You Th